Hey y'all, Mike here from All American Reviews, and today I'm talking about how to find dress shirts made in the USA. I've said it before and I'll say it again, only about 3% of apparel purchases in the US are domestically made, and the same goes for men's dress shirts. So today I'm gonna to be talking about how to spot them, my favorite American-made dress shirts, and talk about some of the big brands in the industry and where they're actually made. Now, per usual, we've also written about this exact same topic, so check in the description below for a link to that article and some related ones, or you can just Google All American Reviews dress shirts and you should be able to see our article there. And remember, if you're passionate about buying American-made products, remember to like and subscribe and head over to allamericanreviews.com. There you're gonna find a ton of research and buying guides on shopping American-made. All right, let's dive in on dress shirts made in the USA. Before we dive into our top picks, let's talk about some shopping tips for when you're looking for men's dress shirts and really what to look out for. Now we have a couple of pieces of US legislation on our side that really help us determine the country of origin when shopping for clothing. The first is the Textile Products Identification Act of 1960, which requires textile manufacturers to do a few things on their clothing tags. The first is to use standardized language when talking about the fiber materials within the product. Second, they need to list the percentage weight of each of those fibers within the product. And third, they need to clearly state the country of origin of the product. Now, if that wasn't enough, we also have Title 19, Chapter 4, Section 1304 of the US Code that requires all imports to label their products or packaging with the country of origin. So if you have a dress shirt in front of you, check the tags, check the product packaging, you should be able to see where it's made. If you don't have the shirt in front of you, check their website, give them a good old fashioned phone call or head over to All American Reviews and see if we've done the research for you. If we haven't, just let us know and we'll check it out. And lastly, just on language, if they are using made in the USA language or something similar, just be wary about some of the qualifiers potentially that they have around that language on their website or on their products. Particularly for clothing manufacturers, they like to use a lot of qualifiers like made in the USA with imported materials or assembled in the USA or hand stitched in the USA where not all of the material sourcing actually happens domestically and they're just doing sewing or some other activity in the US. All right, now that we've covered some shopping tips, I wanna hit fabric really quickly. When it comes to men's dress shirts, that is cotton. Now I've talked a lot about cotton in previous videos, so I won't touch on too many details here. $21 billion industry in the US, but we are still only third in global production behind China and India. So just be sure to check where that cotton is sourced. All right, now let's get to our top picks. Now there are a lot of dress shirt makers that are making quality shirts that are made in the USA and more than I have time to cover in today's video. So for all of our research on men's dress shirts, make sure to hit up that article in the description below or Google All American Reviews men's dress shirts. And like I said, you should see us there. If we miss any of your favorite brands in this video, definitely give them a shout out in the comments below. First up is Authentically American. Authentically American is one of our favorite American-made apparel brands these days, and while they don't make button-down men's dress shirts, they do make some great moisture-wicking polos like the one I'm wearing today. So if you need some new polos for just wearing around town, going on the golf course or to the office, definitely give them a look. Next is Jay Wingfield. The Jay Wingfield company dates back all the way to the early 1900s and honors a long-standing tradition of textile manufacturing for everything from seed to stitch. They have a lot of great shirts. I recommend checking out their classic heritage series as well as their Yellowstone collection in particular. Both of those have a lot of great go-to button down shirts that should be in pretty much any man's closet. Next is All American Clothing Co. I've talked about All American Clothing Co. a few times on this channel and they are a bit unique because they partner with a lot of different American manufacturers and a lot of their products are really affordable. Their store has a nice classic blue Oxford as well as some more casual night out options, so they're definitely worth a look if you're on a budget. Next is Collard Greens. Collard Greens is based in Charleston, South Carolina, and they have a lot more preppy and colorful button-down shirt options. They use 100% organic California cotton in all of their fabrics, and everything is US sourced all the way from the stitching to the buttons. And the last brand I'll cover in today's video is Homegrown Cotton. Homegrown Cotton got started in 2014 and is based in Williamsburg County, South Carolina. 
What I love about these guys is that their entire manufacturing process is in North and South Carolina, supporting a lot of great small factories and small businesses and keeping their carbon footprint really low. Homegrown Cotton does pretty much one thing only, but they do it really well, and that is the polo shirt. They have it available in a variety of colors, so you can pick a few for your wardrobe if you're just looking for a few reliable options with some solid colors and not a ton of flashy patterns. All right, now let's get to some of the big players in the industry and where they're actually made. First up, are Polo Ralph Lauren shirts made in the USA? And the answer is no, most of their off-the-shelf dress shirts are made in China and other countries. Next, are J. Crew dress shirts made in the USA? And the answer is no, most of their dress shirts and other clothing is made in China, India, Bangladesh, Pakistan, and other countries. Next, are Calvin Klein dress shirts made in the USA? Calvin Klein is a huge manufacturer, so not a huge surprise here. Most of their clothing is made in China, Indonesia, Cambodia, and a lot of the other international manufacturing centers that they have with cheap labor and cheap materials. Next are Brooks Brothers dress shirts made in the USA. Brooks Brothers is a curious case. I was really thrown off when I was doing research on these guys because on their website, a lot of their dress shirts say that it is made from American grown Supima cotton, but at the end of the product description, it says made in the USA from imported fabric. So which is it? So I called their customer service team and sorted it all out. Apparently it is American grown Supima cotton, but stuff like the stitching and some of the other smaller materials around the dress shirt are sourced from other countries. So it's not 100% made in the USA, but it does qualify for the government's definition of made in the USA if you need to choose Brooks Brothers as an option. And lastly, are Everlane dress shirts made in the USA? So you'll find Everlane on a lot of best men's dress shirts, articles on other publications, but unfortunately, pretty much all their stuff is made in Japan and Vietnam, so I would avoid. All right, that's it for this video on how to find men's dress shirts made in the USA. If you have any questions, make sure to drop a comment below or shoot us a message at All American Reviews. And if you like this video, remember to like and subscribe. And thanks for supporting your country and shopping American-made. See y'all next time.